Hey, what's happening guys? I thought today we'd talk a little bit about driving high power LEDs. Now this is a 10 watt LED and it has nine separate LEDs in there. You can see they are in three series and each row is parallel. So they're three by three. Now, if you look at this chart up here in the corner, you can see that in order to drive this, we need to give it between nine and 11 volts and a thousand milliamps. So let's uh, first light this up at a very low level so that you guys can see the individual LEDs lit in there. There's some smudge on that one. Now you can see the one in the upper left corner is just a little bit darker than the other ones. So it's not a perfectly matched set, but this was really cheap. This is like a buck 80 off of eBay. Now you can also see the marks here for polarity and you definitely don't want to get those mixed up. So let's zoom out here a little bit and talk about what we need to know in order to drive our high power LEDs. First, we need to know the maximum operating current, which we're gonna get from the manufacturer data sheet. Then we need to know the voltage drop also from the data sheet. And then we're gonna need to minimize the temp because these are gonna get very hot, very fast. And if you get them over hot, they'll burn up. Now, not necessarily required, but a good bonus point is if you drive them below the max current, their efficiency will increase and they'll last a lot longer. So we need to drive this at about nine volts at a thousand milliamps. But before we do that, we are going to need to introduce something to cool it off, a heat sink. And I think I have one sitting around here somewhere. And I'll be right back. So here is a nice little heat sink. You can see it's even got a fan on it. And we can mount our LED to it right like this. So let me get a couple of screws here and we got our screwdriver and we can mount it up yeah if you don't do active cooling on these they will be burn up in uh, less than a minute when you're driving them at full power All right, let me get this mounted. I'll be right back. All right, I've got it mounted to our heat sink, as you can see there. And I put some nylon standoff so that the fan is off the ground. Let me zoom out here. Oh, I guess we are all the way. Nope, that was zoomed in. Nope, that was out. Jeez, losing my mind. All right, so let's power it up. And you can see we're giving it about 600 milliamps. It's using five watts. So we're powering it about halfway. And if I bring it in, I mean, you can see just how crazy bright this thing is. It will definitely swamp out the camera. Now, let's adjust it up for more power. Okay, so we are driving it now at one amp, 8.9 watts at nine volts. And that is just, well, it's blinding me. I can't see a thing now. So let's, uh, let's take down. power here a little bit all 
we'll drop it down to say there's about 200 milliamps and that's still ridiculously bright now it's been on for about a minute and the heat sink is still cool to the touch the LED is also cool to the touch so you can have a lot of fun with these and they're incredibly useful here sorry I don't need to blind you guys anymore but you do have to be careful of the current you drive them at the voltage you drive them at and the heat they generate now like I said you can get these really cheap like less than two bucks off of eBay delivered to your door but they're not going to come with heat sinks um, you can get a heat sink calculator online to figure out exactly how much of a heat sink you're going to need this one's about two inches square maybe a little bigger not much and that fan really helps to dissipate the heat so i hope you guys uh learned a little bit about driving high power leds and if you like this give me a thumbs up comment share and don't forget to subscribe